Kilda guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got a new truck on the channel. So this is uh, Dad's new buy, a uh, bit of a toy. Um, he's hoping to come and join us on a few more of the uh, harder tracks. Uh, he's not got a real uh, rough truck that he can come and uh, abuse over on the coast with us. So uh, he's going to pick this thing up here. So uh, it's a 94 uh, 3.9 preface lift disco one. Um, basically the same spec as mine and uh, my sister's. So yeah, we seem to be buying them all up. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool truck, it's got good bones, it's certainly seen better days and needs a lot of love. Um, needs a good re, repaint on the roof and the bonnet, it's uh, pretty bad. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, mechanical work needing doing, it won't select low range while it goes in but jumps back out. So we'll have to figure that out and it has just the worst steering shake I've ever, ever driven. Um, as in it's worse than the $100 Disco, like it's that bad. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we'll be tinkering with it uh, in the background of the channel. I won't make it too big a thing, but uh, maybe the main main highlights of the build we'll uh, cover on video and we'll just keep you guys up to date with it. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you uh, this new machine. So, uh, quick spec, it's got um, 35 inch tires, uh, two inch suspension lift, two inch body lift, all serted, which is great. Um, they are some Lake Sea China tires, pretty much, bit average. Um, last night we actually went and picked up some uh, new tyres for it, which I'll show you later in this video. Um, but yeah, open diffs, stock axles, like has not got anything all that fancy. I believe it's got a defender transfer case in it to help push the uh, 35s, but it's got some nice alloys on it, but that's going. Dad may or may not have also picked up some bead locks, so uh, good on your dad, um, going up in the world. So there's plenty to happen on this thing, and it should uh, quickly become a truck that is plenty capable of following uh, following Lando and uh, the other trucks that regularly feature on this uh, channel. So yeah, um, I don't know, there's probably not much more to say, I'll show you around. It's got um, got a super cheap auto, a Ridge Rider front winch, um, nothing fancy, uh, probably will be replaced with something a little bit more uh, speedy and reliable. Um, it's also got this real nice uh, winch bar which I'm a little bit jealous about. Um, as, I, as I said, 2 inch suspension lift under there, 2 inch body, um, it's got these chunky flares there, I don't know, they may be 3 inch ones, because I got 2 inch ones on Lando and they look wider, um, Safari Snorkel, which is always nice, it's got these real nice uh, alloy wheels, I don't actually know what brand they are, but they're really hard to find and they're, uh, yeah, quite nice, but as I say, they'll be going to be changed out to the bead locks. Other than that, that's pretty much all the big mods done to it. Um, as, as I said, it's got a terrible steering wobble, so we'll be doing uh, steering arms in it and potentially adjustable panard rod to try get that all driving a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, it's just 3.9 auto. Nothing much more to it. It's got a nice sounding exhaust. Um, so yeah, I think that I think that covers this truck. You'll see it plenty more on the channel, but uh, might as well fire it up and let you guys uh, hear how it sounds. sounds like not too bad anyway we'll uh, cruise back home and uh, I want to give you guys just a general channel update um, cover a few things because uh, you've been too busy to do that and uh, show you the new tires for this thing as well so we'll cruise on home and uh, have a bit of a uh, general catch-up sounds pretty good I like it up these uh their original Land Rover steel wheels which have uh let me just twist one round this one's gonna be the spare because it's pretty pretty flogged but um we've had beadlock rings welded on and the center cut out and moved back so it's got um got more offset so it looks uh looks about right and then the exciting thing last night we just went and picked up these for uh dad's truck they're a set of uh Basically unused um, Maxxis Trepidors in a 35, 12 and a half, 16. So they'll be going on the beadlocks and onto Dad's truck. So that is quite exciting. 
Um, and other news, oh yeah, it's quite a big story to be honest. Um, you may remember the old grey truck, I'll uh, stick a photo on here for you. It never really featured much on the channel just because it was my stock daily driver, but uh, it actually caught fire uh, a couple months ago. Uh, just shorted out in the loom and uh, back of the engine bay caught fire. Um, fortunately, I was um, in the shed at the time it happened and uh, we were able to get the fire out. So the truck didn't burn down, the house didn't burn down, which is an even bigger win, but uh, I mean, still not ideal. You don't really want your vehicle to uh, be catching fire. So I kind of was like, oh, I don't really have time to fix it sort of thing. Um, and then Trade Me had a deal where you could put your truck vehicle up for sale for free so I was like we'll see what it, what happens put it up for uh, what I thought was a fair price and um, yeah someone smacked the buy now button and uh, yeah that thing is gone but it did have some uh, aftermarket alloy wheels which are very convincing at being factory wheels but they're not and uh, yesterday I spent a few hours with a bit of paint stripper as you can see I've still got a bit more work to go but uh, stripped all the paint off those and um, yeah, the black black paint just looked horrendous. So we stripped the paint off there. Um, they're a 16 by 8 rather than a 16 by 7 that the factory ones are, and they've got a bit more offset. So they actually poke quite nicely. I'm going to chuck some 30 uh, mil wheel spaces on and um, throw those with some new tyres I just bought um, onto Lando because these silver stones are going. Um, they are going to go and make uh, way for some new tyres which I have actually got and I have shown in the background of some of my other videos so for those of you who like teasers some of you may have picked it some of you may have picked it but um this thing is getting new tyres but for the time being it's just going to trundle around on those alloys and 30 mil spaces and um some new uh, 33 inch Maxxis razors I got uh well got them second hand but they're in pretty good condition so yeah I might as well go show you those Yeah, um, those are what will be going on Lando for a short wee while, while we uh, get the uh, other tyres all dialed in because they're going to take a bit of work to make fit. Um, no real update on the $100 Disco, $100 Disco is still just parked up there being sorry for itself. Um, and we'll get some more work done on it but we've got a competition coming up in about a month and a half that we're taking Lando on so it's more important we get Lando dialed in and all sorted than uh, getting the $100 disco done right now but I do want to get that thing running I'm getting some hubs ordered um, some Force 4 hubs and a few other goodies from them for in fact both trucks and yeah so yeah heaps more happening so yeah um, hit subscribe to stay tuned for that I guess uh, one more thing I wanted to mention before I wrap this video up is I'm using a new camera um, I'm only borrowing it it's my sister's uh, camera I'm curious as to your thoughts, do you like it more than uh, the old footage you used to get from the old camera? Um, it's certainly a lot more expensive, so if I'm going to go buy one myself, I certainly want it, to, uh, want it to be good. I quite like it, there's a few things I don't like as much about the old camera, but on the whole I think I prefer this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, I'll leave a, link in, uh, I'll leave a uh, comment down below for you guys to uh, put your thoughts on. But yeah, I think that wraps up today's video. Bit shorter than usual, but very exciting. Dad getting another truck and uh, Lando getting some uh, new goodies coming. Oh, hold up. I forgot to say. That's the rear drive shaft. So the rear drive shaft has currently been pulled due to the fact that there is something very not happy going on in the back of the dip. I actually filmed a clip to show you guys, so I'll show you that clip now. Right, guys, so as you can see, there's a little bit of slop. But if you push a bit harder, there's all of this turn, which uh, is not awesome. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of backlash in that diff, which is uh, not a good thing. But uh, yeah, we will um, pull the diff and find out what the story is. So we'll probably be doing a few more shed vlogs, but I am hoping to get out full driving again, because it's only been the uh, wiper trip that we've really done this year, so it's been, been a little bit slack so far. But um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Give us a like if you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for everything coming up. Things subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. And we will catch you all in the next one. Cheers for watching. We'll see you then.